The Harley Davidson Freedom story is a con. Let's get into it. Revelator Alpha. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. I hope you're all well. So, yes, out on the back roads again uh, with a heroic Harley. Yes, getting my sense of freedom. Oh, yes. Just, can't you just breathe in that freedom? Can't you just breathe in that lifestyle that Harley Davidson have been selling all these years? Are you buying this? So anytime uh, I hear somebody talk about Harley Davidsons, you know, and uh, you know, the sensation they get, and it's always touted around, said, oh yeah, it's the freedom. And uh, you know, Harley Davidson slogan, it's the freedom, it's the open road, it's all these cliches that you can think of. Every new motorcycle they bring out, they always come out with some uh, old sob story, <laughs> you know, and we're always making fun of them, aren't we? Uh, well, some of us are, maybe others are really buying into it. But this whole freedom thing, you know, is it a con? <laughs> Do you think that you've been, you know, kind of brainwashed into thinking like this? And, you, and when you really look at it and analyse it and say, well, it's, there's no freedom at all. You just happen to be on a bike, enjoying the environment, but living within very strict guidelines and rules, you know, of modern society. Don't you? And I dare say, those of you out there who are riding your Harley Davidson or Indian or any other motorcycle, and you consider yourself to be living outside of the law, outside of uh, popular convention, you know, an outlaw lifestyle, whatever it is, well, you still got to live within the law. You still got to be operating within rules. So there's no real freedom there. In fact, there's probably less freedom in that kind of lifestyle than those of us who are outside of it. You know, we've got the most freedom per se because we're just operating within the boundaries of law. But the freedom story of Harley Davidson, you know, the open road and everything like that, most people have got jobs. Most people are trying to get a job or trying to su support their family. There is no freedom just to go and do whatever you want on your motorcycle. Ah, but maybe there is. Maybe there is an opportunity. And that opportunity occurs at the weekend on a Saturday or Sunday or maybe for a week of the year where you can get on your on your own version of a heroic Harley and, and head on down that road right off into the sunset with carefree abandon. That's it. And give it to the man or stick it to the man or whatever the term is. That's right. And just ignore all the rules and just do whatever you want to do because you're young and you're free. Yes? No. No, just because you're doing it at the weekend or once a week or once a month or doing it for a week of the year, that doesn't mean you're living the Harley Davidson freedom story because we know it's just a marketing campaign. And time and time again, we're sold this idea of Harley Davidson, but motorcycling in general, but Harley Davidson especially, they use these terms, this lifestyle, this, you know, this freedom, you know, just on the open road, you know, and, and it's, it's, I don't know, does anybody buy it anymore? I certainly don't. You know, you think, yes, you've got the sensation of being freer than people who are driving in cars, let's say, because you're open to the environment, open to the elements a little bit. But most people don't want to ride their bikes in all weathers. So you're not really experiencing the all weather, the all environment uh, situation of, of a bike, are you? So you're not even getting the full feeling of freedom then, are you? Now, I'm sure most people are going to be pointing the finger at me and hating on me for this. I can just see it in the comments below. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what the Harley Davidson lifestyle is. You don't know what biker freedom is all about and all that sort of stuff. And a lot of this, I've got to say, comes from Harley Davidson, the American brand, because it's an American way of thinking. And those of us who are around the world, you kind of either buy into that or you don't. But even if you're in the United States or in Canada, surely you've got to see beyond this, that all this is just a marketing, you know, rubbish, really. All of this is just to entice you to open your wallet so you can go into a dealership and buy a brand new bike because that's all they care about. They're not selling dreams. They're not selling lifestyles. They're not selling freedoms. What they're selling you is a motorcycle and that's it. They don't care about you. They don't care about your freedom and all that sort of stuff. In fact, they couldn't care less about what you do or what uh, you say or what you think about their product because when it comes down to it, if you go and experience a 
freedom and you know get on your bike and just do whatever you want and then when the cops pull you over for doing something wrong or illegal let's say and then you say oh, but hold on a minute i was sold a freedom by harley davidson they told me i could have a lifestyle and be free and do whatever i want uh, you need to blame harley davidson well the cops aren't going to take you seriously and harley davidson are going to go whoa 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 that's got nothing to do with us see what i mean see where i'm coming from so, so be careful what you wish for, be careful what you're claiming, and be careful what you think you're getting into. Because yes, we're all limited by lifestyle. We're all limited by our own individual uh, pressures, our own individual commitments in life. And just because you ride your bike, it doesn't necessarily mean you're having a free life or a freedom experience. You know, you're riding your bike, you're enjoying your pastime, but you still have to operate within the constraints of society. Even those who operate outside of uh, popular convention or major rules or who don't care for it, they still need to have those rules applied to them. You know, they still have to have tax insurance and all that sort of stuff. They still need to have their motorcycle in a roadworthy condition they still need to do the checks they still need to have an, a license they probably still need to have a home you know they got to have a job all that sort of stuff so you know there's there's not much freedom in there when you're talking on those terms so i'd love to know what you think freedom is and what the harley davidson freedom story is let us know in the comments below but don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share check out the website revelatehealth.com freedom Ta-da!